Hey there, hackers. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 hacking tools for beginners. These tools are essential for anyone looking to get started in the world of ethical hacking and penetration testing. You know, kind of like when we do our secret shopper episodes, we're not trying to break the system, just seeing how robust it is. So let's dive in. First up, we have Metasploit. This is like the Swiss Army knife of hacking tools. It's got everything you need to find vulnerabilities and exploit them. It's super powerful and you can use it to test a wide range of systems. It's open source, which is super cool. You can actually contribute to the project yourself. It's got a huge community behind it. Don't forget to check out the Metasploitable Virtual Machine. It's a great way to practice your skills in a safe environment. Next up is Burp Suite, a web application security testing tool. It's great for finding and exploiting vulnerabilities in web applications. It's kind of like having a debugger for websites. You can intercept, modify, and replay traffic. You can even use it to automate your attacks, which is really handy if you're doing a lot of testing. And best of all, it comes in a free version, but you can upgrade to the pro version for even more features. OWASP Zap is another great tool for finding vulnerabilities in web applications. It's open source and free to use, which is always awesome. It's user friendly, even for beginners. It's got a bunch of automated scanners that can help you find vulnerabilities quickly. It's also got a really cool feature called fuzzing that lets you send a whole bunch of random data at a target to see if you can make it crash. This one is for all you SQL injection fans out there. SQLMAP is a command line tool that automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws. It supports a wide range of databases, and it can even connect to the database directly, bypassing the web application entirely. It can also be used to retrieve data from the database, which is really handy if you're trying to get your hands on some sensitive information. NMAP. It's a classic. It's been around forever and it's still one of the best network scanning tools out there. It can be used to discover hosts and services on a network, which is really useful for reconnaissance. It can also be used to identify the operating system of a target, which can be helpful for choosing the right exploit. It's super versatile. You can use it for everything from simple port scans to complex network audits. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer. It's like having a microscope for your network traffic. You can see everything that's going on, down to the individual packets. It's really useful for troubleshooting network problems. It can also be used to analyze malware traffic, which can help you understand how it works. It's got a super steep learning curve, but it's worth it if you're serious about network security. I mean, it's free and open source, so there's no reason not to try it out. Now we're talking passwords. John the Ripper is a password cracker. It's used to crack passwords by trying every possible combination of characters. It supports a wide range of hashing algorithms, including MD5, SHA-1, and Bscript. It can even be used to crack passwords from databases and other files. It's a really powerful tool, but it's important to use it ethically. You should only use it on systems that you own or have permission to test. This one is for all you Wi-Fi hackers out there. Aircrack Ang is a suite of tools for auditing wireless networks. It can be used to crack WEP and WPA PSK keys, which can give you access to the network. It can also be used to capture wireless traffic, which can be helpful for analyzing network activity. Plus, it's got a really cool feature called Airmon Ang that lets you put your wireless card into monitor mode, which allows you to see all the wireless traffic in your area. Of course, you should only use this tool on networks that you own or have permission to test. We don't want to get into any trouble, do we? Nikto is a web server scanner. It's used to find vulnerabilities in web servers, such as outdated software, misconfigurations, and default credentials. It's really fast and efficient, and it can scan a whole bunch of web servers in a very short amount of time. It's got a really cool feature called template scanning, that lets you scan for specific vulnerabilities, which can be really helpful if you're looking for something specific. It's a great tool for getting a quick overview of the security posture of a web server. Last but not least, we have Hydra. It's a brute force login cracker. It can be used to crack passwords for a wide range of protocols, including SSH, FTP, and HTTP. It's really fast and efficient, 
and it can try thousands of passwords per second. It's got a really cool feature called Parallel Mode that lets you run multiple attacks at the same time, which can speed up the cracking process. It's a really powerful tool, but it's important to use it ethically. You should only use it on systems that you own or have permission to test. And that's it. These are the top 10 hacking tools for beginners. Remember, always use these tools responsibly and only on systems that you have permission to test. Thanks for watching and happy hacking. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more hacking tips and tricks. We've got some really cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned.